Welcome to these steps. In this video today, I will be showing you how to install Grafana on our Windows server. So the first thing to do is, is open up your browser and go to the following URL. Once you're on the URL, um, you just need to click on Windows and then click on download the installer. One thing to know is, is we are installing the enterprise edition. The only reason why is, is it gives you the same as the open source version. Once it's been downloaded, we just need to select the file and press install and then click run. Then it's a simple step of clicking next and then accepting the terms and conditions and then selecting next, next, and then select the install button. For awareness, downloading the enterprise version means you will gain access to all the features within the open source version. You just won't be able to utilize the enterprise features unless of course you've got a license. Grafana is now installed on your server. Now that Grafana is installed, we can uh, log on to the actual server itself. And the port number for Grafana, the default uh, port number is 3000. So localhost 3000. The default uh, admin username and password is admin admin. At this point, you can choose to either put a new password, but just for the purpose of this video, I've skipped this step. The last thing to check is the services. Grafana now, uh, by default, will have the Grafana services installed on your server. As we can see, it's running and it's automatic. So every time you restart your server, you should expect Grafana to start automatically. And then, yeah, that's it really. Uh, you now have Grafana installed. On my next part of the video, I'll be showing how to use Prometheus as a data source. If this video was informative, please do give it a thumbs up, like, and do subscribe. Take care.